Hello everybody, it's Rob here, Rob Bidolf. There we go, there I am, holding a couple of dinosaur eggs, as you do, and I am a children's author and illustrator. Maybe you've seen some of my books. What about this one? It's called Odd Dog Out. All about the sausage dog who doesn't fit in with the other sausage dogs, or maybe this one, my very first book, is called Blown Away, about Penguin Blue here. This kind and a very windy day. And I am here today, as per usual, to do a little bit of drawing with you. Now, I'm excited about this one because today I am going to be drawing something new, something that you probably won't have seen yet because do you know what? This book isn't even out yet. In fact, it's not gonna be coming out until later on this year, but I'm very excited to tell you about it. Now, there is a very famous author. Have you heard of Paddington Bear? I bet some of you have heard of Paddington Bear. Do you know what? I bet all of you have heard of Paddington Bear. It's super famous. Maybe you've seen the films. Maybe you've read the books. Well, the man who wrote the Paddington Bear books and the stories is somebody called Michael Bond. And he has written about some other characters too. Way back in the 60s, he wrote a series of books called The Herbs. And they starred all sorts of different characters that were, their names were based on herbs. Sounds a bit funny, doesn't it? But there was one of them that was called Parsley the Lion. And guess what? Harper Collins are going to be reissuing his stories, his Parsley the Lion stories, and they've asked me to do the drawings for them. <gasps> what an honour! I can't believe it. I'm going to get to illustrate a Michael Bond book. Now, would you like to see my drawing of Parsley the Lion? I can't show you the actual book because, do you know what? I haven't even finished drawing the book yet. But I can show you the character. Would you like to see? Here we go. Wow, there we go. Parsley the Lion. Look at that, Michael Bond and Rob Biddulph on the same page. <gasps> what an honour. So this here is Parsley. Could you see? He's a little lion and his mane is made out of parsley leaves. <gasps> I hope you like him. I'm super excited about this. I can't wait to get this book finished and get it out so that you can all read it. Anyway. I thought that today I would show you how to draw Parsley the Lion. Do you think that's a good idea? Good, I'm glad you said that. Right, most of you have seen these videos before, but just in case you haven't, this is how it works. I am gonna break this drawing down into little tiny pieces, and I'm gonna draw one of those little tiny pieces on my piece of paper here. Then you can pause your video, and you can copy exactly what I do. Then start the video and I'll draw a bit more. Pause it, you can draw. Then I will draw, you will draw, I will draw, you will draw. And at the end, we can end up with a lovely picture of Parsley the Lion. Let's get everything off my piece of paper so it's nice and clear. Okay, right. So let's start. Grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen. Do you like my pen? It's a nice pen. I like these Japanese pens. Again, loads of people, they're always asking me. The most common question I get asked is, what kind of pens do you use? So this pen here is a Japanese pen, but it's just a brush, ink brush pen. It's made by somebody called Kurataki. You can find them online. So get yourself one if you want one. They're not too expensive. Right, here we go. Parsley the Lion. We're going to start, okay, with now this is going to be a funny sort of a shape. What we want to do, we want to put our pen pretty much bang in the middle of our piece of paper. And I want you to draw a diagonal line about that long coming down to about there. Okay, so quite a nice easy start. Then I want you to put your pen at the end of your diagonal line and we're going to do a nice curve shape like that coming down and around sort of not quite a semicircle is it? it's a bit shorter than a semicircle and then I want you to continue that line up we're going to run parallel which means we're going to go in the same direction as our first line we're probably just going to go a little bit further along to about there I'd say okay so a funny old shape to start with now then if you can imagine that line was carrying on but we're not going to carry on we're just going to move a little bit further on but sort of along the same direction as that and here we are going to draw quite a big curve going the other way this time so a bit of a semicircle like that about that sort of size and then i want you to draw another one of those semicircles here it's going to go in a slightly different direction though it's going to be sort of facing down towards the bottom of the page this semicircle here okay 
Then inside both of those, I want you to draw another semicircle. Can you see I'm using my pen to make my line a little bit thinner? That's the brilliant thing about these pens, actually. You can, by the way you press them on the page, you can make the line either thick or thin, depending on what you want. Okay, the next thing to do is we are going to put our pen on that little corner that we've created there, and we're just going to draw a line coming across, almost horizontally across the page to about there. Okay, it's not quite horizontal, it's going very slightly downwards, but if you do it horizontal, that should still work. And then I want you to put your pen on the end here. I want you to come down, curve around, and join up with the side like that. Maybe you can see which part of our character we are drawing here. Okay. The next thing to do is from about this point here, so sort of sort of halfway along that line here, I want you just to draw a straight line coming down. To the bottom of our funny curved shape and then either side of that straight line I want you to do four dots one two three four in a little diamond shape now this side we've got such a small shape we might only be able to get three in one two maybe even two but you can sort of hint at where the other bits are okay now can you guess which part of parsley the line this is that's right this is his nose isn't it his snout and this bit is his actual nose here now i don't know if you remember how i draw noses and sometimes i do this with ears as well but i'm i've said it before haven't i i'm always saying this but because i'm quite lazy i like to make things as simple as possible also i really like drawing swirly things so this is how i draw my lions and nostrils i'm going to put my pen here in the middle of his kind of nose shape i'm going to come up and we're just going to do a little swirl like that little swirl that is one of his nostrils and the other one comes up here and goes the other way a little swirl like that and there we go that is parsley's nose now then parsley's eyes they're right at the other end of his face his sort of snout here and they these are really easy what we're going to do about here we're just going to do one little circle and then next to that another little circle and that is Parsley's eyes. Look, oh, he's awake. Let's give him two little eyebrows, just straight lines above them, like that. Okay. Now then, Parsley's mane. Now, Parsley, all of the animals in these stories by Michael Bond, they're all named, and not, they're not just animals, there's lots of humans in this story as well, but they're all named after herbs, things that grow in the garden. And Parsley is a herb that grows in the garden. It's sort of a little flat leaf herb and we chop it up sometimes, we put it on our food and it makes our food taste really, really nice. So his mane is made out of parsley, but, so it's lots and lots of leaves. I don't know if you remember the drawing I showed you, but it's quite complicated, lots of leaves, but I'm gonna do it in a bit of a simple way now. What I'm gonna ask you to draw, because actually with your, your lions, I thought maybe it'd be fun if you did your manes made out of anything you like or any pattern you like, or you can just do like the same as me, you can make them out of parsley leaves. But what we're gonna do, we're just gonna draw a great big circle shape for our character's mane like that. And then when we come to colouring in, then you can add some more detail. So we need to do a really nice big circle. Now circles can be quite tricky to draw. So what I do sometimes is I do four little points, just tiny little dots on the page, and they're the bits that I'm gonna join up for our circle. So if I do, say I want the bottom of my circle, let's say roughly there, okay? Then I want the top's gonna have to be straight above it. All right up, I reckon maybe about there. And then the halfway point is here. I'm gonna come across here, go to about there. Boom. And then the same over this side, probably about level with his nose like that. And I'm gonna try, see if this will work. I'm gonna try and join those bits up in a great big circle. It just sort of, it just sort of helps a little bit, I think, because you haven't just got a great big blank page to draw your circle on. You sort of, it's a bit like doing a dot to dot the puzzle or something, isn't it? And then when you're drawing it, if you realize, actually, I'm not sure I put those dots in exactly the right place. It doesn't matter, you can sort of change your drawing. See, I put that one a bit too far out, I think, in the end. But there you go. That's a pretty decent shaped um, circle. I mean, it's a bit pointy over that side, but do you remember, I've said this before, drawings, they are never perfect, are they? 
So there we go. That is the basis of our Parsley the Lion mane. You can, you can see here, I haven't joined the bottoms up here, here, or where his face is, because we're gonna do that when we get to the coloring in part. First of all, let's draw his body. Right, what I want you to do first of all for his body. Around about here, just a little bit down from his nose, we're gonna draw a straight line down like that, okay? This is gonna be one of his legs. We're gonna do another one parallel, exactly the same length, about that far away from it. And then we're gonna do another one, but this time it's gonna be slightly shorter, very slightly shorter. Now, the reason it's gonna be shorter will become clear in a minute. Before we get there, I want you to draw at the bottom of that first line, I just want you to draw a little curved line like that. And again, we're gonna do exactly the same for that leg there. And then when you've done that, we're gonna go back to this first shape here, and we're just gonna do a straight line that joins up there. And that's gonna be his left leg. And then this is gonna be his right leg. Okay, so you can see there's a gap there still, because that gap, that's where we're gonna put his back leg. So what we're gonna draw is a slightly bigger curve, but the same sort of shape as that. And it's gonna go back a little bit further, because their back feet are a little bit bigger when they're sitting down. And then what I want you to do is come up, go around in a shape like that. And then once you've done that, then you can join this line up. Can you see it just sort of, this back foot slightly overlapping the front foot. That's why we didn't do it, first of all. Now it's an easy bit. We're gonna come from the bottom of this foot. We're gonna go straight along. And we're gonna go back past where we, where this top of this curve goes to. And then we're gonna turn up and we're gonna go back up into the main like that. And look, there's our little seated parsley body. Let's add three little claws on each foot. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Our little seated parsley, the lion. Now the next thing to do is his tail. This is how we're gonna do that. We're gonna draw, coming from his bottom here, we're gonna do a big curved line, coming out and going around to about there. And then we're gonna do another one that starts above it and sort of follows it around, keeping the distance the same between the two lines the whole time until we get to there. Now then, Parsley has got a Parsley leaf on the end of his tail there. But do you remember I said you can draw, you can design the mane any way you like. I think the mane should match the tail, okay? So say for example, you wanted to do sort of rainbow circles at, as his mane, okay? You could then maybe do a circle, rainbow, little mini rainbow circle for the end of his tail. Or maybe you want to make his, what could his, what could his, maybe his mane is made out of candy floss, so it's nice and pink and sort of fluffy and bubbly. He would have a pink and fluffy and bubbly tail end as well. So do you see what I mean? His mane should match his tail. Now then. I am gonna go away, not gonna go away, I'm gonna sit right here, but I'm gonna go away in the sense that I'm gonna stop talking because I am gonna go into super speed mode and I am gonna start coloring in my parsley drawing. I'm gonna do it as it's gonna appear in the book. So his mane is gonna be made out of parsley leaves and his tail is gonna be made out of parsley leaves. But I'm gonna do lots of other coloring as well. So why don't you think about how you want to design your parsley's mane and tail and go away and start coloring. And I'll set you back here in a minute or so when I've finished coloring. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. go there is my finished parsley the lion and I've sort of what I've done in the actual book I've very carefully drawn all the leaves but I think sometimes when you're doing a sketch you can just sort of do suggestions of leaves can you see I've just done lots of sort of curvy lines but I think you get the idea and by seeing this little parsley leaf on the end of his tail 
it looks like his whole mane is made out of the same parsley leaves. So there's one more thing that I've got to do to my drawing. Can you remember what that is? That's right. I've got to sign it, haven't I? So I'm going to sign it down here. Here we go. Rob. With a little kiss. So don't forget to sign your drawings. I wonder what you have done with your parsley's mane, your parsley's tail. Maybe you've done the same with me as me, but maybe you've done something fantastic and imaginative. I can't wait to see them all. So what I want you to do is get somebody to take a photo of your picture and then you can post it on social media using the hashtag draw with Rob and that way I will get to see it because I love seeing all of your drawings and then I will randomly choose a selection of them and we'll put them up in the grid and maybe yours will make the grid later on today. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? So listen, I'm super excited about illustrating this book. Michael Bond, can you believe it? Rob Biddle. Me, I'm illustrating a Michael Bond book. I still can't quite believe it. So that is super exciting. So you need to keep an eye out for that book. I think it's going to be coming out later in the year, maybe September, October, maybe October, I think, actually, maybe even November. I don't even know. But later on this year, you will be able to buy that book. And um, I really hope that you enjoy it. And I hope I can do Michael's lovely story justice. I've had a, re had a really nice time today showing you how to draw Parsley the Lion. I hope you've enjoyed yourself too. Don't forget to share your pictures. And I'm going to be back really soon for another episode of Draw with Rob. So in the meantime, I want you to take care of yourselves and I'm going to see you soon.